Did you know that a single biological process may be the key to reversing diabetes? This process is called endoplasmic reticulum associated degradation, or ERAD, and it helps cells deal with problematic proteins. Proteins play many key roles within the cells. For example, insulin regulates blood sugar levels by allowing glucose to enter the cell from the bloodstream. Like other proteins, insulin can only do its job if it's in the correct shape, which scientists refer to as being properly folded. Sometimes proteins don't fold correctly, and instead they behave kind of like floppy, sticky spaghetti noodles. Scientists call these noodles unfolded or misfolded proteins. Insulin is particularly prone to misfolding. Surprisingly, even under normal physiological conditions, 20% of all newly synthesized insulin misfolds. The correct folding or misfolding of insulin occurs in an internal chamber called the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER. In addition to helping newly made insulin fold correctly, the ER also serves as a quality control center, kind of like a TSA officer at the airport. If newly made insulin is in good shape, the ER allows it to pass through the gate and eventually reach its destination. In contrast, the ER can detect and send misfolded insulin to be degraded through a biological process called endoplasmic reticulum-associated degradation, or ERAD. ERAD is a very important cellular survival mechanism. If misfolded proteins overwhelm the ERAD, they accumulate in the ER, and the resulting stress eventually causes diabetes, Parkinson's, and cancers. In the case of diabetes, the pancreatic beta cells must produce loads of insulin to deal with insulin resistance or consumption of carbs. Since insulin is prone to misfolding, the overproduced, misfolded insulin can overwhelm the ERAD and accumulate in the ER. Once this occurs, the stress level in the ER increases, which activates the unfolded protein response and signals a gene called CHOP to kill the beta cells. Even worse, the stress levels in the surviving beta cells will increase intensely, as they must work harder to compensate for the lost productivity, and consequently, they die at an accelerated rate. In the past, it was unclear as to why diabetes gets worse, even when the blood sugar levels have been well maintained by medications. However, as our knowledge has increased, we now understand that the progression of diabetes itself reflects largely how fast the ER stress kills pancreatic beta cells. Yes, the ER stress is the price we pay for using insulin, and it won't stop killing beta cells even after blood sugar levels have been brought down. Consequently, after more than 50% of the beta cells have died, the symptoms of insulin resistance start to appear. Fortunately, we've also learned that the price is avoidable if we can keep the ER stress levels low while the beta cells are producing insulin. This goal is reachable, and scientists have recognized ERAD as a therapeutic target for reversing diabetes. After all, curing diseases is always better than relieving the symptoms alone. By enhancing ERAD to degrade misfolded insulin at an accelerated rate, scientists believe that the relief of ER stress will effectively slow down beta cell death while the body is generating new and healthy beta cells. Eventually, with improved homeostasis, the recovery of beta cell mass can be expected. Interested? Please visit www.bioplayo.com.